Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of smart forms. And our new topic is smart forms translation to other languages. How we can translate a smart form to other languages. We will go for simple example. SAP is a multilingual software. We all know SAP is available in multiple languages. It supports customer of any country. Language is never, never a barrier at all. Suppose I am saying there is a customer who knows English. So SAP support that customer also. Suppose there is a customer who knows German. There is a customer who knows Japanese only. So language is never, never a barrier. SAP support customers of any country. Now, when we develop this smart form, when we develop the smart form for the order details, if you remember, we provided the text. Whatever the text we have written, we always, always has written the text into English language. Suppose if I will go for any of the text, we have always written the text into English language. Suppose if I will go for this text for order number, if I will go to change editor, we have written each and every text into English language. Go to change editor. We always, always provided the text into English language. Now, whenever I will run this smart form, whenever I will run this smart form, if I will give the input and I will go to execute button, you can see the labels which are coming, it is always, always in English language. Now, suppose we have an example. We have a customer. Customer has the office in US. Customer has the office in Japan. Customer has the office in Germany also. We developed a smartphone for the customer. Now, the customer team which is operating from US, they are fully satisfied with the output of the smartphone because they know English language. They can say, yes, everything is perfectly fine. Now the customer team, which is operating in Japan or Germany, whenever they will run this smartphone, the labels will appear in English language. So they will simply say, okay, we are operating from Germany. We are operating from Japanese. So here we cannot understand English language. So you need to do the translation of the smartphone into the target language depends upon the country. If the country, if the, this smartphone Japanese team is running, so these labels should be in Japanese language. If the customer team who is running the smart form into German, so these labels should be in the German language. Translation is compulsory. Anyways, customer will give the translated text. But yes, we need to provide that text into the system so that the customer who is working from Germany or who is working from Japan the same smartphone work for them also. Suppose for the best understanding, I will log in into German language and I will show you that still the output is into English language. Suppose I will log in. The customer team who is operating from Germany Suppose they logged in into the system into German language and the logon language I put DE. DE stands for German. They went for this smart forms transaction code. Anyways, they will use program to run the smart form. 
okay underscore 28 sorry we are running the smart form we will give some input to the smart form and whenever we will execute you can see customer is saying output values are okay but here we cannot understand the text they are in english language so we need to do the translation for the same an important topic from the project perspective yes because in the projects yes we have the customers who are operating from different different countries so at that time we need to do the translation for the same now whenever you want to do the translation we have a dedicated transaction code in sap and the transaction code is se63 so i will simply log in into the system into english language and i will go to sc63 transaction code and parallelly i will open smart form also whatever the smart form we have now after going to sc63 you can see title bar is itself translation editor means we have a dedicated transaction code which is used for translation and that is SE sixty three. Now path is mentioned in the slide. Also, you need to go to other text. I will click on to other text. After that, you need to go to SAP script forms and style. Go for SAP script forms and style. Expand this. Now we have SSF SAP smart form. SSF SAP smart form. Choose. Now pass the name of your smart form in the object name. So our smart form name is this. So I will copy and paste this smart form. Now it is asking for now source language and target language. Source language means in which particular language you created the smart form. If you remember, when we logged in into the English language, we developed the smart form. So what is the source language? You can check here also. Source language is English. So I will simply, simply choose the source language English. Now we will go to target language. Suppose now at this point of time we will go for translation into german language suppose so i will go to f for help and i will choose german language so we are doing that translation yes from english to german i will go to edit and you can see we have two portions here upper portion is all about the text into the source language means english language and lower portion is all about the text which we will maintain into german language now and you can see each and every text is appearing here suppose if i will go to the smartphone this is the smartphone which we designed if i will go for this text 11 but this text 11 text 11 is all about currency we put currency there if i will go to text 11 if i will show you okay this is our text 11 if i will click on to this text so whatever the text we gave they are appearing into sc63 I will go to editor. I will go for go to change editor. And you can see currency, currency. It is same to same. Yes. And have you seen star is appearing? Star. What is the meaning of star? Star means default paragraph. Depends upon the requirement. 
you pass the paragraph format which you created through smart style also suppose simple example we have item details if you see for item details hf is coming this hf is what this is the paragraph format which we given in smart style suppose if i will go to item details this is text 13 item details text 13 if i will go to editor you can see now we have hf for the item details so whatever we maintain whatever we did while creating the smart form each and every text is appearing here is appearing here now we will go for most important point in terms of translation we all know we have four types of text in smart form what is first type of text text element text module include text and dynamic text so whatever the text you are getting here at this point of time in sc63 all those will be text element means we can do the translation of all the text elements by using this particular process but it might be the case we used text module or include text also in the smart form so how we can do that translation for the same suppose if you see we for this particular order details title firstly we develop this we provided this text using text module then we used include text if you see in sc63 this text one will never never be there if you see text one will not be there it means for the text one we cannot do that translation by this process so whatever the text module or include text you are creating we cannot do that translation by this way we have different steps to do that translation so it's a extremely important point that this type of translation which you are doing the steps which we are using to do that translation at this point of time it is for all that text element of the smartphone if you want to translate that text module or include text we have different steps and anyways we will cover that part also so what is the summary of the video in this video firstly we studied what is the importance of translation smart form translation is necessary so that we can support customer of different different countries sc63 is the transaction code to do that translation you need to go to other text sap script forms and style you can choose sap smart form you can put source language you can put the smart form name you can put source language and target language if i will show you the path if i will go to back button if i will go for this how you did we simply clicked on to other text we choose sap script forms and styles we simply put our smart form name, source language English, target language German, and we clicked on to the edit button. Upper portion is all about the source language text and lower language, lower portion is all about the target language. And the important part is all text elements, we can do the translation by this way. If we want to translate include text or we can say text module also, we need to follow different steps. Anyways, there's no problem with dynamic text. Dynamic text you are always putting at the runtime. Suppose I know Japanese. 
So I will put the text into Japanese and it will appear in the smartphone. So for dynamic text, there is no problem at all. So in the next video, we will do the translation and we will see the expected output. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.